The post office is a wonderful national treasure in every community from the most remote rural portions of the country to the uh, most densely populated urban centers and neighborhoods. And as such, and again, its mission is to bind the people together. So there's, there's so much more that the post office can do. Uh, it already does a certain amount of financial services. It could do a lot more. It, 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 even basic paycheck cashing, uh, ATMs and postal service, money transfers, all of that would be a counter to this predatory payday lending check cashing industry. There's tens of millions of people that are either unbanked or underbanked, meaning that they have no bank account at all, or they end up in this, what they call this alternative, uh, we call it the loan sharking um, uh, predatory uh, industry. So there are, there are opportunities there to serve the people. It would bring in revenue. Uh, postal workers are eager, eager to perform those kind of things. There's, uh, there could be all sorts of license, uh, 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 licensing. Uh, there could be, uh, you know, uh, internet access. There could be cop uh, the uh, copying services. There's all sorts of things that the post office uh, can do and should do. But in order to get there, uh, we have to make sure that we have a public postal service. And that now is really up for grabs because clearly we have an administration that would like to. Uh, and, and it's clear. They have an agenda. They would like to sell the, the public postal service off to private corporations, privatize it, and turn what's the service of the people into, and everybody has the same equal access to, uh, turn it into a profit-making entity where whether people get mail service or not, uh, and at what cost, and at what kind of surcharges would depend on whether somebody can make a quick dollar. And again, the post office is set up on a nonprofit basis to serve every single person. So this administration has an agenda, and they're shamefully using this crisis to carry it out rather than set policy. I mean, here you had a, 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 a incentive package of $2.2 trillion. The corporations got $500 billion. The Postal Board of Governors asked for $25 billion. And also the, the possibility of bringing in private carriers to deliver on, in regular post office boxes. Well, look, the, 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 your, our mailbox is an, is an extension of our living room. It's part of our home. It's private. Nobody can walk through our front door. Nobody now has access to that mailbox. It's the last, really, it's, it's, it's the last holdout of true private communications. The internet's not, uh, 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 Facebook is not, tweeting is not, and so on. So that's what's called the sanctity of the mail. And if the post office was to let die by this administration, we don't think that the people of the country are gonna put up with that. They're not gonna let it be stolen. But if it were to die, part of what would die with it is that right to privacy and the right to what we call the sanctity of the mail. So that's an absurd idea, uh, and we don't think the people of the country are going to buy that idea. But again, we're not going to we're not going to have these debates if we don't call Congress, if we don't write Congress, if we don't email Congress, if we don't get and sign all the petitions going around. Uh, the uh, listeners can go to apwu.org. There are petitions there Mark, demanding that Congress Mark, step up and do the right thing. I